Hello and welcome to your weekly insights through the cards. My name is Mika Leon Pettit and this is for the week of January 2nd through January 8th. Moon mansions are in Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. You may be feeling the need for stability right now, but that may not be possible. It's time to accept the inevitable uncertainties of life. Change is a natural and needed part of our cycles of evolution. Be your own rock by being aware of your innate talents and abilities so that you do not go out and seek validation in the material world. You may have conflicted feelings about changes and spontaneity. Think about your feelings and share them with others since you may be more talkative and speak with more ease these days. Balance yourself by not only thinking but feeling. Towards the end of the week, with the full moon in Cancer, your emotions may fluctuate as you feel the need to spend time at home. You will need a little distance to balance overthinking, especially about the past. Moon Mansion energies are like internal drives and conscious awareness should be brought to them to utilize these energies effectively. The Oracle, oh yeah, change. Change is on the horizon as shown in the Moon Mansions this week. When it shows up in the Oracle, this is the overall energy focus on and usually faded or karmic in some way, meaning it's happening regardless of how you may want things to go. Usually these types of cycles bring needed adjustments that you would not really do on your own, but overall is a necessary process. Don't be surprised if you find yourself wavering between moving two steps forward and two steps back, especially if you feel like things are just fine the way that they are. So this week, both Astro Gems Geomancies show up in the water signs, making it an emotional week and a focused energy, especially if you have Cancer and Scorpio in prominent positions in your chart. Astro gem number one, Via in the first house of self. The energy of the year starts out in the void, a place to cultivate perfect balance. Like a seed, we have everything within us to reach our fullest potential. Go within and focus on what you would like to express in 2023. Your emotional reactions may be the focus of your inner work since it is necessary to manage unstable reactions to people and situations in order to have healthy connections and a sustainable progress in moving forward. How light will soothe you while balancing your emotions? Great for working with water signs and those quick to get stressed and are angered. Astro number two is Rubius in the 11th house of others, group associations, philanthropy. This fiery, passionate energy of Scorpio is seeking out depth and the secrets of the groups, organizations, and associations that it wants to be associated with. There may be second thoughts about your circle of familiars now, and it's the perfect time to start a new year with diving into the secrets and hidden causes of situations that were there before, but was not easy to access at the time. Bloodstone will give you the courage you need to go through change and renewal, and it's the stone of justice and it's said to have magical powers. Your crystal card, Carnelian. So it helps the Scorpio energy that you have up here in your chart in Rubius in, this, in the 11th house. And it helps you to stay balanced and positive. It connects to the lower chakras and known for building personal power and confidence. Carnelian infuses the body with life force energy and boosts your physical energy. This is what flowed through and I hope it helps you plan your week for the best possible outcomes.